five, four, three, two, engine start, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way building. like our own. Burning our engine, chamber pressures are building. Roundlet solid motors are building and chamber pressure. Kepler-186f is the first validated Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of its star. It's the outermost of five planets to orbit a star that is smaller and cooler than the Sun. Uh, this planet orbits its star every 130 days, and so this places it in the habitable zone, where it's, it's in a region where it could have liquid water on its surface. So we now have one example of an Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of a Nim dwarf. Um, this is exciting for us because of the hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, more than 70% of them are M dwarfs. So if we can say that planets like Kepler-186f are common, then we might be able to say that uh, Earth-sized planets and Hubble zones of stars in general are common. This planet, Kepler-186f, orbits a star that's cooler and dimmer than the Sun. So while we may have found a planet that's the same size as Earth, and receives a similar amount of energy to what Earth receives, it orbits a very different star. So perhaps instead of an Earth twin, we've discovered an Earth cousin. This is one of the big uh, milestones that we've been looking for in our, in our attempts to find out if there are places just like home and if there's life out there. Um, one of the big steps is to say, is there somewhere that looks to all intents and purposes like Earth? Well, we don't know just yet, but we know that there are places that at least look similar. <laughs> 